Welcome to the Measured Pencil. I'm Stephen Murray, and I'm here with pencil maven Wes Nelson. Hello. How are you, Wes? Fantastic. And what pencil are you reviewing today? You look very excited. The Rotring 500 in point seven. We are finally hitting the Rotrings. Fans, countrymen, calm down. The day is finally upon us. A step up from the 300. This premium mechanical pencil combines a lightweight plastic body with a textured metal grip zone for hours of writing and sketching without slipping. The Rotring brass mechanism delivers precision lead advancement. A fixed lead guidance sleeve prevents breakage and offers an unimpeded page view for precise ruler-based drawing. Ergonomic hexagonal barrel ensures fatigue-free writing and drawing and prevents the tool from rolling, even on inclined drafting tables. Non-slip metal knurled grip for drawing and writing comfort. The lead hardness grade indicator lets you identify pencils quickly when working. Boy, I think they put every adjective <laughs> imaginable into that. I don't think they missed any of them. So if you have your bingo card at home, I think that's a blackout. All right, let's see what the internet has to say about this. Tannen from Amazon says, mediocre at best, three out of five stars. Whoa. And I see steam already shooting out of Wes's ears. <laughs> it feels real plasticky well, and, plastic. cheaply, and cheaply made. I thought it would be more durable or a nicer design. It's a mediocre pencil. I wouldn't buy it again for the same price. Would you buy it for a lesser price? Maybe. I okay. don't know. I'm going to need an update on that, Tannen. We love the updated review. Yes, or call in. That's fine, too. Nita from Amazon says, I am not satisfied about my purchase. One out of five stars. Oh, no. It hurts my middle finger. No. I put a bandage on my finger. Oh, my gosh. We don't want to hurt anybody. No, but we might need more explanation on the middle finger injury. They were all really short this week, Oh, including this one, which is pretty amazing. This is Team LDLC which has been translated from Japanese. Oh, I thought it was like a Pokemon thing. No, okay. it might be. Okay. Thank, here, here's the translation. The review title is About. Hmm. Three out of five stars. Okay. It looks good, but it is very lightweight. I don't think you need a butt in there. I'm just reading what they wrote. No, I know. I'm, I'm <laughs> saying that they, they, they could have left the butt out. Why is that a detractor? All right. But oh. here's, here's the best line. Okay. The lightest theory among the sharpens. Ooh, oh my <laughs> gosh, that is amazing. The lightest theory among the sharpens. That is a story prompt. We need Team LDLC to call in and explain oh more. Oh my gosh, yes, finish that story. That's a, that's a fantasy epic I want to read. That's our next D&D campaign. Yes, well, <laughs> the lightest, what is it? The lightest theory among the sharpens. The lightest theory among the sharpens. I... Didn't like this pencil at first, but I especially like it today because of the uh, Amazon reviews. This pencil makes me feel like I'm living in an alternate reality. I was at a carnival today, and there was the game where you hit the the pedestal with the hammer, the mallet, and the, the metal thing flies up into the air and hits the gong. I'll try to use the more wrong words to describe that. <laughs> But I was playing that carnival game, and I was helping my son try and win a stuffed animal toy. So I, of course, overdid it, and the mallet hit the, the target, and it glanced off and nearly smashed into my toe. Mm. And for the next 20 minutes after that, I was living in this reality where I was imagining, like, I actually did break my toe. To roundabout back to this pencil. This pencil, in an alternate reality, could be an amazing pencil if the metal rotrings didn't exist or mm. you hadn't actually held a metal rotring yet because everything on this pencil is metal except for the barrel and it's it's high quality i mean this is like the same it looks like the same tip as on the 600 the clip looks like the same clip from the 600 it even has the little dimpled section in the o of rotring which is just a chef's kiss of quality that they took the time to do that the hardness indicator, metal. Eraser cap, metal. It, it, it's just astonishing. When, the more I think about it, the more I practice like gratitude and, and thinking about this from the angle of like what I actually have versus what I actually don't have, this pencil's phenomenal. 
It's lightweight, which you don't need a butt on that. It's high quality and it's lightweight. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's amazing. I would recommend getting this first before getting a 600 if you don't have a 600 already. Think about it. This is like the prequel to a great story. This is like Bilbo in uh, The Hobbit before you get into Fellowship of the Ring. That's, I think if you, if you approach it from that angle, you will absolutely love this pencil and you will adore it. What do you think, Stephen? So this, to me, is what I feel the Super Pro Mecha was trying to do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But they left it unfinished. Yes. Or they left too many parts that didn't quite go together. Right. This is still different parts with the metal and the plastic, but it works. Yeah. It works so well. I think the mo- I think you were right on point saying that if you hadn't have held the all-metal 600... This would be a perfect pencil. Yeah, I, it's just it's great. I remember, and again, I'm I'm going to the 600, but my first impression of that was all visual. I saw you have it. Yeah, I said, "What the heck is that pencil?" And I because I had to buy it, and I did. I would have bought it even if you hadn't have let me hold it at that point. This looks exactly the same. It does everything. It's well balanced, even with the different parts and pieces and the lightness it's still well balanced yeah it's great and it's it's solid it's sturdy i love it and and the marriage between the metal parts and the plastic parts feels intentional it feels solid it doesn't feel like something was tacked on or glued on after the fact and let's talk about price because on jet pens if you need a pencil you need jet pens it's 16 dollars compared to the 600 which again on jet pens is $27. So if you're getting into the rotring game, I think it's a perfect entry point for you. So are we rating this buy it? Buy it before you get a 600. If you already have a 600, put the 600 into a time capsule, forget about it for six months, then get a 500 and you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. There you have it. Check us next week on the measured pencil. Bye. This was The Measured Pencil with Wes Nelson and Stephen Murray. Follow us on Instagram for more content and to see what the pencils actually look like. If you have a pencil that you would like us to review, contact us through our Acast page and your pencil might be part of a future episode. And if you haven't already followed us, please click subscribe on your favorite place to listen to podcasts.